be a lot of fun. We're going to bring out four young hot inventors who are part of the Invent America situation. Uh, uh, Program. Competition. Competition. Look at this. They have, just like in school, a little display of yeah. what the whole thing is about, the problem, the materials, the procedure. I never did one this good, Reese. called the Blaze Buster. The Blaze Buster. And let's get our first young man out here, Aaron uh, Laidman from Columbia, Missouri. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Hi. Nice to have you here, Aaron. You're in the fourth grade, huh? How old are you? Ten. Ten years old. You ever have a chance to see our show? Yeah. Yeah? Sometimes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Which one is Kathy Lee? <laughs> That's it, Aaron. Good. That's Th testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the competition, Invent America. Well, you start out with just like a school competition, and then you go like just things in your state, and then you go into something called Invent America, and you go to state and regional and then national. Well, all the way up, just like Miss America. Here. Exactly. So this stiff competition. Now, how long have you been working on this Blaze Blust Buster? Well, this, the model <laughs> took about... Here it is. The model Look and at this, this um, took about... Mm, two, two, about two days to just build this. Yeah. But with all the research and stuff that I had to do, it took about ten weeks. But that's what I want to know. How'd you get the yeah, idea? Where'd you get the idea come from? Well... I, I never want to have a um, fire in my basement, and what this does is, when your before your fire gets too hot, it sends off this bell. So it's like a smoke alarm in a way. Well, actually, it's actually better because it'll ring before you have a fire, and not when you're having a fire. It'll ring before you have a fire. In other words, the heat will send out waves. All well, right, that's fine. That's sensational. Good for you. Okay, so can we have a demonstration? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start a fire. No. You just simulate this. Simulate, simulate okay. reach. Simulate. Yeah. This is for this, wood stoves? Yeah. But uh, Aaron, are, are there that many wood stoves around? Yeah. Just in Missouri. In, just, <laughs> just in State Farm, just in Missouri, there's thir they um, have 35,000 people that own wood stoves just in And I'll in bet they're kind of dangerous, too, and this would yeah. uh, do them a lot of if good. If it saves one life, it's been worth it, huh? <laughs> and... Okay, what this does... Just lay out, will you? We're working. <laughs> yeah, you, you scientists are working here. Forgive me. Aaron gave you one of those mercy grits. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I'm used host. to those, Rich. Go ahead, Aaron. Okay. Well, this is a temperature gauge, and it tells you how hot your fire is. And normally this would come up here and push this brass rod to tilt the mercury switch and activate this bell. When it gets hot. Right, when it gets hot. So, like... Oh, good, Rich. If... If your temperature in your wood stove is like 300 degrees, this white dial will be pointed at 300 degrees. Okay. Uh -huh. So show and us so what happens then. This would just come up here like this yeah. and push this press rod like that. Hey! It works. Then you got to rush out and stop the fire. <laughs> Makes Good sense to you. me. Stop Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks a lot. You, Aaron. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. That's great. Okay, Aaron.